I'm Caitlin Ferguson and I'm Natalia Bezerra um, and we are collaborating here in Poldra uh, with a sculpture called Lithos. Um, my background is in public sculpture, um, I'm based in the UK um, and my background is in landscape architecture. Um, I'm from the US uh, but our collaborative practice works at the intersection of public art and landscape architecture. Our work Lithos takes inspiration from an ancient rock instrument called the lithophone and we felt that that work was um, very site-specific and would work well with Poldra. So when we were designing Lithos, uh, it was made entirely site-specifically for this area and for this park. So our research came from kind of looking at the local region and what materials are available. So first of all, we did a lot of research into local stone. So we settled on using um, a local sort of grey granite that creates a beautiful sound when it's rung. Um, and we combine that with local Portuguese pine. Um, so for us, it's about using these local materials and presenting them maybe to different audiences, um, local visitors or maybe people who've come further afield, but then for them to experience these materials in a different way. Um, kind of using the you know local geology and, and the wood of the area to create new readings of the landscape. So you can play lithos uh, in lots of different ways. You can pick up a stone on the floor, a bit of wood, maybe one of the acorns, or you can just use your hands and play it um, in any way you see fit. And what happens is then uh, sounds of those stones resonate in the forest. You know, something that Caitlin and I are really passionate about is creating works that also provide a meditative experience for users and you know interaction was key so we wanted to create help create something that would bring people in would allow them to engage with the work and the overall environment. Lithos as a sculpture is something that will provide uh, the viewer a multi-sensory experience so what we're really passionate about is the materials that are used in the sculpture when they're played, when they're activated by the viewer, what happens is unexpected qualities are released. Sounds from, from stone, um, materials that surround us for millennia that have been part of the earth um, for as far back as the history of the planet. And what we've done hopefully is we've put those stones on center stage so people can experience these, quality, these materials in, in different ways. This project allows for a sort of cross-cultural exchange and by being able to work with people from Vizu and also meet other artists from you know, Chile, from I mean, around, the world. around the world really. I mean this global network of people is, is so key, is so critical um, to any kind of public engagement uh, work. So for our artistic and sort of professional development, it's been a really fruitful time for us learning from different individuals, uh, not just the other artists or the coordination team, but also the amazing team of technicians as well who've supported us. And it really has felt like a true collaborative effort to create these artworks and bring them, bring them to life.